Hi, so just to introduce this video, I have the, uh, the Yesu FD991A as my shack uh, VHF uh, UHF rig. Uh, I use the 5000 for, for HF, uh, but I also use uh, this 991A as my portable uh, shack in a box. So it doesn't always sit on top of this 5000, so I didn't buy the SP10. Uh, which is a, a speaker that can sit alongside the 991A and I'll put a picture uh, open for that. Um, it's a long box, same sort of depth as the speak, as the rig, fits in nicely, um, but it is expensive, over £100, uh, and there's mixed reviews. So you'll know if you got, a, a, like most rigs, the speakers on the top, and I was finding uh, on local FM chats I was getting better audio by cupping my hand over the speaker. Uh, so if I just uh, up this noise, and I'm sure you can hear the difference. Um, so I thought to uh, throw the sound forward, I could just fit a, a small speaker in there. Um, hence this video, hope you uh, find it useful. So this is the SP10, the speaker that goes with the rig, if you've got a, a permanent shack set up. Because I use it portable, uh, this is not my configuration, so uh, I was keen to try out uh, another speaker as an alternative. So after a bit of uh, scouring the internet, I came across th this speaker, which is the Yesu MLS 200 M10. It's a portable weatherproof speaker uh, and costs me about £25. So this is what you get in the box. Instructions, fixing screws, and the speaker is quite uh, weighty. And there we have it. It's IP. 55 rated I believe so for outside use uh, a long lead and uh, yeah nice chunky looking speaker and in the instructions there's various descriptions on how to fit the speaker if you're mounting it to a car or a boat even or something outside uh, and there's the uh, the specs now, despite what some websites say, this speaker uh, won't work with most Yesu rigs out of the box because of this stereo plug. Uh, the speaker is meant to work with the Yesu FDM 10 and 350 transceivers, um, but if uh, most of the Yesu transceivers like mine uh, take a mono plug, um, this won't work straight away. And as I found out, you can't just plug this into a stereo mono converter um, because this has unusual uh, wiring, which I'll explain now. So in a standard 3.5mm mono jack plug, the tip provides the audio and the base provides the ground. And then again, in a standard stereo 3.5mm jack plug, the tip is the left audio channel, the ring, the middle part, is the right audio channel, and the base again is the ground. So finally we have the plug off this Yesu extension speaker which is a stereo plug but providing mono audio. So the tip is the audio, the ring, the second part is the ground and the base isn't used. So you can see it differs uh, from both a standard mono and a standard stereo plug. And to get around all of that I could just cut the plug off and put a mono plug on and wire it on, but I want to keep this um, setup intact, the original speaker, the original uh, plug. So what I need to do, as per those diagrams, is plug the Yesu speaker into this stereo socket, and this is just a, a short stereo lead, but I'm going to cut this plug off. So cut that wire, and I've also got a mono to mono 
So I'm going to cut that wire and I'm going to attach it to a mono plug. So if you imagine that is a little patch lead. So as you saw in the diagram, I'll be taking the uh, two leads out of this three lead wire and discarding one. So I want the audio and the ground connecting to the audio and the ground. And in theory, speaker plugs in there, this plugs into the rig, and I've got the conversion from an unusually wired stereo plug uh, to a standard wired mono plug that the 991A will accept. So I'll do that now. So here we're all finished. Uh, I've got the speaker in place. It's just resting on some anti-slip uh, mat so I can move it around easy enough. Uh, and now to uh, give you a, a test of, of what it sounds like, whether this comes out on the uh, on the uh, video, I'm not quite sure. So if I turn, I've gone to HF, I've plugged an antenna in. There was a station there a second ago. So that's the speaker, and I'll toggle it on and off by pulling it out the back. Speaker. Rig. Speaker. Rig. Speaker. Rig. Speaker. Try again. A QRZ from Hotel Bravo 9, Hotel Lima Mike, Hotel Bravo 9, Hotel Lima Mike, Hotel Bravo 9. Hotel... What you might notice, there's no branding on the speaker, despite the uh, stock photos you'll see on the uh, online shop websites. Uh, and you'll also see the photo of the mono plug. Uh, I'll put that on the end of this section. Uh, and both of those aren't the same. So even if you're not a Yesu user, um, if you check before you buy, uh, the speakers uh, comes without Yesu uh, branding on the front. And clearly, it's weatherproof for outside. I'm not sure what you'd use it for. But maybe uh, if you're doing a field day in a tent, it's got a very long lead on it. Uh, so, uh, so possibly useful for that as well. But uh, I'm happy with that. That's a success.